And here we go again. So last week I showed you how to turn this picture um, with five boxes into a one-point perspective. Today we're going to use the same picture. We're going to turn it into a two-point perspective, which is quite different. Um, I advise you to get a big ruler. If you don't have one, it's okay. You can use a smaller one. It's just a little bit harder and possibly a little bit less exact. So see if you can get your hand on a big one. Okay, so we're going to get started by drawing a line on the bottom of our page. And we are going to draw um, every four centimeters. We are going to just put a little mark on this page, on the line. So, first thing we're going to do is draw the two point perspective grid. Um, so, once we have that, we are going to draw the horizon line, I think 16, let's do 16 centimeters above this line. So, we draw another line over there. And then we're going to pick our vanishing points on the edges of that. Vanishing point one and vanishing point two. So um, this is the horizon line, as you all know. Okay, so we're going to draw a line from vanishing point one to the middle of our marks on the bottom line. And one from vanishing point two. Okay, um, and now we're going to draw more lines from these vanishing points into the other uh, spots on the bottom line. You only have to go to, to this line here. No problem if you go any further. You can erase it later, of course. thing over here and a grid will just appear like magic I love this stuff Now, we only, because, I mean, we can, we can get, we don't have 10 by 10 here now. We've got five, a 5 by 5 grid, which is great. Um, to be able to do this method, but get a 10 by 10 grid, we need a much, much bigger piece of paper. And then we end up with a tiny little um, grid that we can use. So um, we're not going to do that. We're just going to use that, the other method that you guys all know from um, doing one point perspectives. Um, and we are going to... Just go through these centers um, with a diagonal line to find the next spots. So I did I did it through here so I can get a more accurate line. I um, and I was trying to make this video before I did I chose this one. And it got a little bit more distorted, so we'll see how this one goes now. I think it will be a better result. We just have to do it several times to get 10 by 10 grid. Okay, so we need two more. I'll just go through here and there. See, as you see, like you lose a little bit of. A little bit of quality, I think, the more you do this, or 
maybe the further you go away from the beginning from here I'm not I'm not really sure but for our perspective things don't have to be completely exact okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we've got ten on this side <clears throat> somewhere to go on the other side so I'm just lining it up with that point there oh. okay so I need to find out a few more I'll just I think I'll go to from here to here that looks pretty good and if you're interested in this stuff, there's so much on YouTube to find out. People doing it slightly differently, people doing it quite a lot more complicated than this. Uh, possibly more accurate, but we don't need that 100% accuracy. How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, this is the last line. And there we go. Here's our grid. Uh, I think I might just get rid of those lines. They might get, they might confuse us. And I'll get rid of these lines as well. So pretty amazing, right? Okay, I'll make a I'll make another video to show you how to draw the boxes in.